Hey everyone, and welcome back to part 3 of Bioshock 2. Uh, let's see here. I've saved and quit since this episode in the last. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I did indeed loot all these rivets. We got telekinesis last time, and I'm, I'm still, uh, I'm still trying to remember the controls to get used to them. Like, I'm so used to the single plasmid system. So used to it. When it's all you play, you get so used to it. I don't want no seaweed. Yeah, here. I'm hearing things. I'm hearing spooky things. Spooky things. Hey, why are you not lootable? Hmm. I want to loot all of this. Seems like a big area. I want to make sure I loot all of it without, like, triggering any silly events. Dollars? I'll take some dollars. Good to know. Remember there is rivets in here? Or there are rivets in here? I feel like that's the way I'm supposed to go? What's tinging? You're keeping me out. Anyway, let's attack this biatch. Remember? Free medkits. I wish that would stop popping up every time. I feel like this is the way I'm supposed to go. Uh, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll go this way and we'll turn around if we have to. If I think it's taking me the right way. Because I'm trying to explore everything. There's quite a bit of things I missed in Bioshock 2 compared to 1. Let me see if Cola... Cola gives Eve. Good to know. Now I remember. Pop-up Cola gives me Eves. I has a feeling something bad's about to happen. <laughs> Nothing in this freezer. No? More rivets in here if I need them. Good stuff. Hey, jukebox. It makes me think it's a grenade from a uh, shock one. No, we just got some beans in here. Some fruit. That'll heal me, so I'm not going to eat it, actually. I'll leave it be. Anything in here? No? No? There's a bunch of food in here if I get hurt. There's also a bunch of medkits in the world. It's good to stockpile. There's an audio log in here. Oh. Oh. Something about milk. Where is he? Whatever. Let's grab the audio log. White is not black, Dr. Lamb. Down is not up. And straw is not gold. Look around you. Rapture is no miracle. It is a product of reason. Impossible unless one and one are two, and A equates to A. And yet, alone, each man is a prisoner to bias. Dream, delusion, or the pain of a phantom limb. To one man, they are as real Explode, as a Reality is consensus, and the people are losing faith. Take a walk, Andrew. It is raining in rapture, and you have simply chosen not to lose. So they're having discussions, it seems. Lamb's still a bitch. I'm on Ryan's side. <laughs> Ryan may be a tool, but I agree with him. In the sense that, you know, everything, well, not necessarily everything. There are given circumstances everyone may or may not have making it so they cannot accomplish something. But he's all about, like, effort gets you places and such. It's true. It really is. Don't expect handouts in life. Now, you are the extra splicer, right? The other one came in here. Yeah, okay, there was only two. Just making sure I looted them both. And, like, four of them didn't die due to uh, an exploding pipe thing, or whatever you want to call it, fuel tank. So we still need another E-Pipo to be maxed. Any rivets in here that I can... Yep. So we used a couple of those rivets. These dispensers. They are one-time use, to my knowledge. Only one time. One time ever. I want that rivet in there. How do I get in there? I'm assuming... Yelp. Telekinesis. Make sure nobody's in the crapper. Ah! I, I clicked like it's... Damn it! I'm so used to the, the single thing. Ugh. I blame you, Bioshock 1. I blame you for playing you too much. We got here food and such. I should stop eating it. These people are hooked on some kind of genetic wonder drug called Adam. I've read the word splicer scribbled on walls like a warning. The fuck? One of them cornered me and Christ his. Ugh, so 
feel Lamb is using the splicers against you. Most big daddies are like her slaves, guarding the little ones. But someone has awakened you. So that cut off the audio log. I'm gonna go ahead and play it again. These people are hooked on some kind of genetic wonder drug called Adam. Oh my god! I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny, one you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. Alright, we're gonna play the audio log. One more time. <laughs> These people are hooked on some kind of genetic wonder drug called no. Adam. I've read the word splicer scribbled on walls like a warning. One of them cornered me and riced his face. I had a gun, but I choked. And then out of nowhere, we both heard this singing. And he took off like hell on wheels. It sounded like a kid. A little girl. Cindy's alive. I know it in my gut. Alright, let's not get cut off on this audio log. <laughs> in ethical psychiatry, we must account for the role of evolution. Depression, fits of panic, sexual pathos. All responses to ancient selection pressure. The irony is that this theory is why Ryan's people invited me here. They mistake my study of natural law for the worship of competition. Remember, Eleanor, one must know the beast before it can be slain. Lamb, you're a bitch. I'm just, I'm just gonna go out on a limb. <laughs> uh, I thought I saw a dollar bill there, but we got dollar bills back here. You're not gonna get up on me, are you? No? No? I think we're good, we can be friends. You know that canned food, canned fruit, whatever it was. Heal up. Some dollar bills. So you saw I hacked the vending machine back there. It gives you a random item every time if you do the blue hack. So, that's cool. It doesn't have to be a med kit. I mean, we just got a med kit that time. You can get like grenades and ammo and miscellaneous doodads. Alright, I think we need to move onward now. Pretty sure I looted the majority of that. Slightly ominous. Oh, hello. Got a uh, camera over here. Let's do this. Quickly, head for the elevator. Friendly alarms last longer. So if they discover somebody, it's just gonna keep the turrets out for more. That's cool. So the pressure's on, I guess. She wants me to hurry. But all that means is I'm going to take my time and loot everything. <laughs> Aspirin, we'll save that if we get hurt. There's a bunch of exploding things. Oh! That I should be using. I didn't mean to shoot that. Remember, I've got a bunch of rivets. I would like the turret, or the camera, to be, uh... I think someone will work for me. Oh, he just died. Man, can I just not hit this person in the face? Knock her on her ass. <laughs> there's a medicate or two back there, and there's one we can get from here, so we should be fine. Bio! Go get her turrets! Hold on, where's my turrets at? I actually want to hack one. Where are they at? Where are they spawning from? There they are. Do you wanna you wanna you wanna actually come after the person? I drill you. That sounds dirty. That is dirty. I'm sorry you had to hear that. Stay still. Stay still, buddy. We can be friends. Alright. <laughs> so now I got a turret friend. I'm okay with that. We'll get a lot of our drill fuel back, thankfully. Go ahead and get another free med kit. Now the Eve is a wee bit low. We could go... Oh, did I loot that? We could go buy a hypo? I don't know if it's quite worth it. I'm super stingy. You know that. If you watch my first let's, uh, playthrough, you know I'm lay stingy. I loot everything while playing hard. 
Let's go. There should be a few rivets back here. Yeah, I get this guy now. Somebody had rivets on him. I want my rivets. Where are my rivets at? There's my rivets. There's gotta be more. No, you get out of here. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna go all out. I'm not gonna go all the way back. I just wanna see. Yeah, right here. I knew there were some. That's five rivets. We're, we're basically full. Close enough. Onward. Onward with it. Awesome rivet gun. Rivet gun gets beast. Rivet gun gets beast. Rivet gun's already good. Like, if you get a headshot, that does some damage, man. These have all been looted. Hop up. Oh, there's some free rivets. Thought I just saw somebody. I'm clearly seeing things. Got anything back here? Any e hypos e hypos would be nice. Free e hypos would be welcome. Doesn't look like we're gonna get that lucky. So we have to bring the elevator down, but it's already down. Can't get through here. Get him, turret! Or security bots. Get him! Get him! I'll pull the. Oh, never mind. I was gonna pull the bodies, but. No. <laughs> There's a lot of them all of a sudden. Now, here is what the children tell me. You are a very old big daddy, bonded Ouch. for life to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb, daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. We're bonded to a single little one. There could be only one. Elevator button, okay. Hello? Hey, buddy. Wanna play? Uh oh. You got trap riveted. You got trap riveted. I remember trap rivets. I love trap rivets. These are so f they're they're so they're handy. Like they're just really just handy. Uh, that's awesome. So in this game, instead of B, the swap ammo. And you swap ammo a lot quicker. Um, trap rivets, like you just saw, they're basically little proximity mines that when they walk by, they take damage. And when you stack a bunch of them up, pretty freaking strong. I'm going to try to save my trap rivets, obviously, and what I'm going to do is set this off, hopefully. Oh, that's right, you can pick them up. Never mind. I was going to use this corpse to set them off like we would with the crossbow and the uh, electric darts. Alright, just gotta remember it's middle mouse. Take that trap rivet. You got drill fuel, I don't need it. Let's delete all these cabinets. Free rivets, free rivets. Gotta remember that if I need them. Is there a camera out there? Why is it red? I think it's just the lighting. I think you have an audio log in here somewhere. I thought you did. Maybe I'm not remembering right. Oh, I am remembering right. Dr. Siu Chong's death was a nasty blow to the protector program, but I'm gradually settling into his role, picking up the slack that his carelessness left behind. We are gaining steam again, but I'm not satisfied. Yes, the Big Daddy defends the girl, but he is programmed only for the fight, like a sheepdog who wanders off unless a wolf is tearing at his flock. When no aggressor is present, he regards his little sister as he might a common houseplant. We need something more. Something stronger. An unbreakable physiological bond. Su Chong got drilled in the ass. Quite literally. <laughs> he was on a table in his apartment room and he was pinned to it. It was pretty funny. Su Chong got bent to him. I think he hit a what are you what are you doing? He hit a little sister or something? They were talking to him and then like pushed her away. I'm considering buying a, a hypo, but I'm not gonna do it right now. He pushed her little sister away or something, and then a big daddy came in and just like fucked his day up. There is a camera right there. There is something alright. So that just makes life easier for me in general. If something decided to set that off. You're, you you want to wait? Hold on, I can pick these up, right? 
Yeah, I'm gonna save these. Any explodey barrels? I can't get that one. Well, we're just gonna drill her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that sounds dirty. It is. Well, shoot me, turret! No! <laughs> the turret always hits me. It always hits me. Alright, a bunch of Hallcraft's cure all. I shouldn't be using that. It's very useful to hoard it. Okay, so what was the thing pointing to? Oh, the door. It's pointing to this. Oh, the button. Okay, I think I guess that opens up the gates. You see? This is why I must fight Sophia Lamb. She is using the new little ones for for something. And I have returned to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins. And the rapture nightmare it will repeat forever. Now, we must talk. Citizens of Rapture. This is Subject Delta. Behind that mask hides an enemy of the people. Nice picture. Without soul or sympathy. It is a beast apart. And as family. We must tear out its jaw and drive it back into the sea. Lem will take this place apart to find you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape. Okay, there's a bunch of rivets. I'm not gonna use my trap rivets. Fuck you, game. I'll try to save my rivets. What I would like to do is have the turret or the camera over there do its job. And we're going for headshots with the rivet gun. It's really powerful if you get a headshot. <clears throat> so like I said, really freaking powerful if you get a headshot. <laughs> and you can only, it can only get better because you can upgrade it. Ah. Come over here, lady. I will beat you in the face with my wrench. Oh. Except for it's not a wrench in this game. It's a drill! Hmm, looks like we're good. That's right. See, you'll, you'll notice look at Steam achievements. Thank you. Later. Now I must leave you. And I am sorry for this. But there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally. And will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta. And good luck. Anyway, about the steam achievements. God damn it! Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor, complete with iron horse. The name's Augustus Sinclair Sport, Esquire. Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building, the very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. Can you let me talk? <laughs> anyway, about the Steam achievements. I beat this game. I think something happened where whenever Games for Windows Live was canned because it was a terrible, terrible thing, Steam took over in some respects. And all my achievements and like progress was reset. So you'll notice I'll be getting achievements and things again. And it was just like a, a heads up that, yes, I have beaten the game before on PC. Just for some reason that happened. And I'm like, again, I'm assuming it was because of the whole game for Windows Live business. I'll take some free rivets that I can't use. I'll use them later. Look, look at them rivets! Them audio logs! Sophia Lam has taken the rapture and is responsible for stealing children from the surface. Her splicers destroyed my submersible and forced me to run. But the ticket booth here is secure. And though I cannot trust him, Sinclair is a valuable ally. I have already rescued a few of the new little ones from Lem. They all want to know how we will get home. I wish I had the right words for them. Why well, you know has right words, Tenenbaum. Jeez. Alright, pretty sure that is it for loot in this area. And yeah, this vending machine is no different. How many remote hack darts? I think I've got plenty. So we'll go to, what was it, Fontaine Amusements? Orion Amusement. Why, why did I say Fontaine Amusements? We're heading to Orion Amusements. I think that's where I'll find my first power to the people station. I look forward to that. This is basically the bathosphere on Bioshock 2. The whole train station thing. It's not really even a train station. It just carries you. It's like a monorail. 
It's a monorail station. That goes underwater. Oh shit, son. I feel like a punch up. The drill swing is from its powerful melee attack for close quarter. You bet your sweet ass it is. It's no wrench though. <laughs> Die hard wrench fan. Whoa there. Now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. No, don't stop. Keep going. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. I've got a big drill. Couldn't I theoretically just dig through it? That's okay, like incinerate. I do like the way the plasmids work in this game. Like you can you can hold them down, basically, and like channel them. It's pretty cool. Especially with incinerate. It makes a whole lot of sense. Flamethrower in your hands. I will take that. Don't need any rivets. Doesn't mean I won't remember they're there and use them later. But yeah, I mean, like I was using River Gun earlier, just if you get those headshots, oh my god. River gun is beast. We got in here nothing. So, make sure I remember to get the power to the people station, because I'm pretty sure this is where we start finding them. You know, I have to make sure I seek them all down. That is an absolute goal of mine. Loot all the power to the peoples. Not what you can, beans. This isn't Daisy. You get out of here. Atlantic Express. Are we out of the Atlantic Express? You will be reborn. She is our salvation. She's also batshit crazy. Let's be real. Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation at her log? birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor. Loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. You cray cray. So yeah, we can't get any of the stuff until we melt it. So we still need to get incinerated first. And again, as you saw there, I totally riveted that guy's face inward. Pretty great. I don't think that's going to do me any good, unfortunately, so I'm not going to drink it. Yeah, news vendor. I'm just going to watch the ocean? No. <laughs> uh, more booze that I don't need. Let's loot this body. What you got? Absolutely nothing. You are the definition of worthless, good sir. Def freaking nition. Ryan Amusements. Insert your ticket now. Half price for children under three. I'll insert my ticket, all right. Yeah. No. <laughs> Door's locked. Can't get in there yet. We need to take it. We can't go to the chocolate factory. We don't have the golden ticket. <laughs> that sucks. I don't think I looted this. No, I did not. I think this is where we find our first power fuel station. If I remember correctly. Security wing. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. Yes, indeed. He's trying to sell me. That's a little bit creepy. Camera? Camera? Okay, so power to the Piapple, and yes, you totally get that. So there's the old, well, without the stock, there's the old machine gun, there's the new. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger. Just a little, size matters. <laughs> Just a little. Got some coffee up in this bitch. Now, do I want to use the power of the Piapple on my rivet gun or the machine gun? I think I'm going to go with the rivet gun, to be honest with you. Yeah, I will probably go with the rivet gun. 
Just because at first you get those headshots, it's like the best thing ever. Let's see here. Oh, and also, in, in this one, every weapon has three upgrades compared to the previous two, and you can't get all of the upgrades even if you get all the power to the people stations. So you do have to select, like, really what you like the best. Uh, these are obviously really good. Def Def reflector upgrade is... You have to be spinning the drill, and I don't know. Uh, meh. Rift gun damage and rift gun clip size. I'm going to go with damage. See, it shows you the third tier upgrade. This one, an internal heating mechanism heats rivets to a white hot temperature. So basically, you can set people on fire by shooting them. That's pretty awesome. So, I'm going to get the damage upgrade first. Makes the most sense to me. It'll save ammo and will kill things quicker. Saving me some headache in the long run. And we got ourselves a Vita Chamber. Again, I'd prefer not to die. But guys, it's time to wrap the episode up. We will continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching.